Hi, I'm Greg Undo from Steinberg. We're going to take a quick look at some of the new post-production features that are offered in Nuendo 6. One of the older features that's incredibly useful is this concept in the transport called edit mode. This allows, as the audio is moved on the timeline, you could actually see the video window update frame by frame. So this makes working with dialogue replacement or Foley very, very easy to place your audio to the video file itself. Now, Nuendo will expand upon the mixer that was introduced in Cubase 7 with the new mix console. So when we look at our mix console, one of the great things that we'll have here is wave meters. So you could right click here and choose to either see like traditional LEDs or wave meters. So as I play my project, you could just see what's coming and what has gone past our timeline. Now on the right hand side in the control room, we're going to have dedicated loudness metering, which is R128 compliant, which is going to be the new standard for broadcasting. So any material that's going to be done ultimately for broadcast, you want to make sure that you're complying to this because otherwise your mix will be compressed or expanded and often have really adverse effects. In addition to that, we could also look at other metering scales, whether it's DIN, EBU British scale, Nordic scale, or CAT system 20, 14, or 12, right there. In regards to metering, we've also now offer a loudness track, so you get a sense of what is going on throughout the project loudness-wise. And this isn't necessarily based on peak uh, metering, but on the R128, which is kind of like an RMS metering. So very, very critical for that. Now, one of the things that we've also added is the capability of working with ADR. So if I wanted to come here, let's say if we open up our video screen and we have someone speaking, what we could do now is just go to our marker track right here and we say, okay, we want to go to our voiceover markers and we could open up the voiceover marker track. And as we do this, we can now go to our ADR tool set. So I can import and export CSV files, but I can now just go to my ADR tool set and I have different options where I could have a counter or I could have swipe. So if I wanted to do dialogue replacement just on that little area, I could rehearse it. If I wanted to have an inverse counter, I could just come right there and rehearse. Or if I choose to swipe instead, I could just come right there and you'll see the different swipes. So as we come right here, we can rehearse again. Record that segment. and then play back to make sure that segment came off as intended. Now, working with in post-production, you need to get in and out of multiple systems. So one of the great things is the batch export. So if I wanted to take all of my files here and mix it down into stems, I could go to my audio mix down, enable the batch export, take all my audio tracks, if I have virtual instruments, and take all these different elements and mix it down into equal length stems that could easily be imported into any program. If you have any additional questions on Nuendo 6, please feel free to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.